For our headlines, we're staying hot, more 90s to come into the weekend. Humidity is building, and with that, you can definitely expect some afternoon storms pretty much every day this weekend and beginning of next week. Some folks getting out there, maybe to go out on a boat and enjoy that sunset out on the water. I don't blame them and I wish they would take me with them. Tracking severe weather in the area this afternoon, particularly in these spots. We're gonna move west to east. I'll show you where exactly they're impacting. For the 4th of July, again, hot, steamy, isolated thunderstorm or two, but if you're feeling really patriotic, you can probably find some time in there to shoot off your fireworks. Tropical Storm Bonnie, just off the coast of Nicaragua right now, just about to make landfall, and as she makes landfall and moves into the Pacific Ocean, could develop into a Category 1 hurricane. But if we move a little bit further east, we start to see where that's going to impact Charleston, Colleton, and Dorchester counties alike. That heat's not stopping. We're chalking up more 90s. We hit 90 degrees today, and I plan to hit 90 degrees as we move into the weekend and beginning of the next week. So definitely be careful when you're getting outside. Have a flood watch in the area until 6 a.m. tomorrow, so avoid those flooded roadways. If you come across one, maybe take a detour if you can. It is going to be hot, and it's still going to be humid, so definitely be careful. Those heat index values are going to be up there, especially as we move into Sunday and Monday. Tuesday, it is a tad lower, but that is that holiday, so definitely if you're going outside shooting off some fireworks, be careful, drink a lot of water, make sure to take breaks inside if you can. All right, it's fairly clear over Edisto Beach right now, and we can see plenty of people out there enjoying the beach, and they're, they're getting at it while they can because we do have some rain in the forecast for this evening. In the middle of July, you would expect us to be up in the 90s, but today we only hit 80 degrees because of how cloudy we were. Last time we were around that was in 1972 at 81, so today a record-setting day as far as our lowest high temperature of the date. If you do come across a flooded roadway, turn around, don't try and pass it. You could rust out your car since it is salt water, and you definitely do not want to get stuck in it for harm to yourself. If we look at future cast, it really peaks tonight at midnight and that should move off as we move throughout the day tomorrow. Maybe some lingering showers into the afternoon, but really nothing to worry about as far as that goes. Pretty normal for this time of year. Good afternoon, everyone. It is a gorgeous day out there, especially over Edisto Beach. Clear skies and warm temperatures. So if you are headed out there, make sure you bring some water and plenty of sunscreen. And that's the trend for the weeks. Heating up, staying humid, mainly dry until we get to the weekend with a few storms in the forecast. Right now, it's feeling pretty warm out there across the state. About 90 degrees, pretty well everywhere, until you get down here to Charleston at 86. That's because we've gotten a few of those little inland sea breeze showers affecting us. We uh, look at our temperature trend Tuesday again, 92, still hot out there, and then we're heating up even more through Thursday, and we're peaking at 96. We drop off just a tad into Friday and even more into Saturday when those rain chances show back up for the forecast. Again, heating up. Our hottest day so far this year was on June 14th at 98 degrees. Thursday high is 96, or at least it's forecasted to be. So with a little stroke of luck, we might just be able to hit that uh, new record high for the year. For our tips to beat the heat, and make sure you're drinking plenty of water this week. Stay in the air conditioning when possible. If we're working outside, take some breaks and wear loose fitting clothing if you can. And if you can help it, make sure to wear lighter colors as well to absorb a little bit less warmth than those darker colors. For our travel forecast, if you try to beat the heat anywhere in the southeast, you're going to have some trouble. Chattanooga, Tennessee, 90 degrees all the way up there with some rain chances in the forecast. St. Simons Island in Georgia, still warm, 91, less rain in the forecast though. And then down south in West Palm Beach, Florida, again, 90 degrees, some rain in the forecast. For our beach forecast here in the low country, if you'd rather stay here like me, uh, we got good news. It's going to be beautiful at 88 degrees out there. Water temperature pretty well perfect at 84. High tide 7.03 a.m. Low 12.59 p.m. High again at 7.28 p.m. And then we do have a moderate risk for rip currents. So if you are swimming out there, do get caught in one. Swim to the side and then swim in to uh, break the grip of the rip. For our live radar, a few sea breeze showers popping up a little bit further inland. Nothing else really on the radar to worry about. We look at Futurecast again right now. Sea breeze showers, that's really all that we have in the forecast. And as we move further into Tuesday early morning, clear across the state throughout the day. Maybe some showers popping up with the heating of the day, but that's pretty natural for this time of the year anyway. Wednesday early morning, clear. Afternoon, clear. And as we move into Thursday, again, 
clear across the board. For our forecast tonight, we are mainly clear, warm and muggy at 76 degrees. Another clear day in the forecast tomorrow at 92. Plenty of sun and we're only heating up from there. Now here's what I'm talking about. You look at our extended forecast, heating up through Thursday, peaking at 96, dropping down just a tad at Friday at 95. And then we have more rain in the forecast as we move into the weekend. And with those rain chances, we're getting a little bit cooler as we get into Monday at 92.